All right, what's up everybody? Back here with more NCAA MVP gameplay. Looking at the Pac-10 this time. Taking a look at Stanford and UCLA. So let's take a look at the pitching rotations here. It's January 17th, 2020 when I'm recording this video. Stanford looks like they're pretty solid in terms of pitching, returning. UCLA lost a lot. I think their relief core is pretty good. I think it was hitting where I noticed that UCLA lost a lot. But and that's to be expected when you win, what they win, 50 games or so, and then they made it within, what was it, within a win of making it to the College World Series, so that's to be expected. So, all these guys here are freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, undrafted, who were, that was during the 2019 season. You'll see some open players here. UCLA has some as well. That just means that there weren't enough players who contributed to fill out every open spot on a given roster. So once the 2020 season gets started, and I get about a month or so into it, then we'll go ahead and start adding some new guys in, doing some ratings updates, updates, tweaks, and all that. Oh, so here's the overall ratings for Stanford. So you can get a look at those and kind of see what each player's overall rating looks like. Uh, yeah, well, look at that. S top seven are pitchers. A couple decent hitters for Stanford, and then it kind of drops off after that. You know, and that's the thing I actually noticed for most of these teams. Even the high-end ones, like when they lose talent to the draft, what they have coming back, generally you get a situation where there's four, five, six, maybe decent hitters. And then it really drops off. And, and again, that's because of attrition, right? Graduation, the draft. All right, so that's that. Let's go ahead and go into exhibition mode and get started. But when you go in, still a B minus for UCLA. You see their pitching as at an A. Not much on the hitting, like I was saying. But once the season starts, we get an idea of the transfers and the freshmen and everything like that. Let's we'll see for Stanford. So relatively close. Pitching's a little better. Hitting's a little bit weaker. But go ahead and use Stanford. Put this on Junior. Actually, let me go back there, okay. Put this on Junior, and we'll go ahead and get going. All right, back here once again, taking a look at the ratings. You guys have seen all of this. So with Stanford, we're going to go with Williams against Nostrini. See the lineups overall. Look at Stanford, they've got, what, three hitters at the top maybe, and then it really drops off after that. So... Probably going to be a little bit of a struggle to try to score some runs. UCLA has a little bit more depth on the hitter side. But you saw that there in the overall team ratings. So... Alright, there we go. Time to go to work. Pac-10 gameplay. Pac-12. Hello, everybody. Today's game is between the Stanford Cardinal and the UCLA Bruins. <clears throat> Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Patrick with Kyle Peterson. Again, it looks like a great evening for a ball game. What a great night to be at a baseball game. It's a perfect night. We got a great ball game, and the crowd's been into it all night. Number 
30 is the starter today. He certainly is, Mike. His pitches consist of a four-seamer, a change-up, a hook, and a great fork ball.
They should be trying to bunt here. They'll go for a sacrifice. That ball hit toward foul territory and makes the catch in foul ground. Number one is digging in. Pass ball on the corner. There's a ground to the left side toward the hole. That's in time for the out. Yeah. After seven. Fastball at the knees for a strike. And a liner to third. He's out. Amazing! He's Amazing! <laughs> Number five is now over two at the plate today. Takes a strike.
this one hit toward right field. And right fielder is there. The throw to second. Action in the bullpen as they'll get a right-hander warmed up. Runner first with two out. Change up too high for a ball. Two gone. A little bit low. Double. I think that's what the first double of the day. Goodness. I think what's that? Our third hit, maybe. Jesus, it's hurting. It's it's bad. Breaking ball over the plate for a strike. 
three and two. Rawls the walk advances to second. Number two. inning. I, I can't tolerate any more of this, so it's Robinson is now over five. seven total today. hits in 13 innings. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I felt it was going to be a struggle, but like I said, when I'm just shooting these videos, I can't. I just can't sit here and play 50 million innings. There's a nice hook. So, last inning. Hopefully somebody scores, but if not, we're calling it. We got to move on to the next one. Two balls and <laughs> a strike. I was hoping it'd bounce over his head and he'd just fall down and I could just keep running. Because that's what it would take to score a run. Didn't look like you went through the zone with that one. One and one. So first. Let's play another. Let's play another. Uh, punishing myself here. Takes a call strike on a fastball. That one misses inside. Tried to get him to nibble on the changeup. He wasn't having any of it. Pull the bat back 
Lincoln takes it for a ball. Grounded to the first baseman. Fuck. Uh. Come on, get by somebody. Give me a base. Give me an extra base hit. <laughs> oh for five with five Ks for this homeboy right here. I'm terrible. Six with six Ks. Runner first with two out. Breaking ball right at the knees over the outside edge. Right. Ground ball. Come on. That's the third out. This is it for sure this time. I, I'm done. I can't. This is painful. It's never going to end. <sighs> so UCLA and Stanford, you got to see the players, many of them, pitchers, hitters, so... Two down. They got the top of the order coming up, though, so maybe they can do something here. Nope. All right. So, like I said, that's that's enough. I gotta I gotta quit. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Painful as it was. Time to move on to the next game.